Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Dead Space. We're here, back in the room we were in, um, you know, that's a little med bay where we had our very interesting fight inside of that I'd love to not go and recreate, and, uh, we are inside this room, the next room is Biolab, ready to go, it is three in the morning, I'm slowly getting later and later apparently, um, my goal is as long as possible to keep st keep doing this at midnight or later. Um, whoa, you see that? Got green. Um, keep playing until midnight or later. You know, any basically anything after dark works, and it, so I'm gonna work with that as long as possible. Oh. Come on, come on! Hey, you're Let a dude. Go. You're not dead. Oh, no. oh, dude, no! Sorry, dude. Dude, that. Uh, oh. Look, dude, I want you to deal with that. I'd rather not. Oh. You dealt with that just fine. Come here. Come here, little guy. Dang, man. Look at those. That's twisted. They got babies in here. Oh. And here comes the fun, right? We're going to have shrieking babies jumping at us and stuff. Man, look at that. That's messed up. They don't even look like normal babies. They look like big babies. Sorry about that, dude. Ooh, ammo. Oh! Die, die, die! Okay. We're good. We're good. Minor, minor, minor enemy. Um, just shoot off your little tentacly things just like everyone else. I can deal with that. I don't know if I can deal with you babies. You're kind of weird. I don't like you. Oh, crap. I saw you. I saw you. Where'd you go? Back here. Oh! Oh! Dang it! No! No! Wow, I actually did that pretty spectacularly, despite everything that happened. Uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll give myself a, a B on that one. A little more chill than I was yesterday. I think I, a little less jittery now that I know what's going on. Ooh, here we go. Thermite. Objective complete. That's half right. of our thermite bomb. The thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shock pad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. Okay, so this is half of the thermite bomb. We need uh, shock pads to finish it. I think I should just keep my gun up at all times so I stop getting so scared. You guys are dead, right? Yeah. Nope! Dang, there's two of you. I think that one's a girl. Okay, your arm's broke. Come, come here. Yeah. Just to be sure, yeah, you're dead. Ooh, line racks. I actually like line racks. They're good weapons. But man, look at all these people. They got murderized in here. I feel kind of bad for them, actually. Ew. Stop it, it's squishy. Get out of here. That's a problem with all these stupid bodies. They're really squishy and they sort of flop around a bit. Um, and I think that's our next way. Before we go over there, let me make a slight detour over to the store. I'm really glad I can't be attacked while I'm shopping. It makes me happy. Um, oh, we need to sell the gold semiconductor, of course. Let's sell that. Yeah. Um. How about we move the large med kit? Because I don't think we're going to need the large med kit. And we'll take a medium med kit. So we'll have a medium and a small. That that should be enough. Sell so stasis pack. Put away a thing of plasma energy. Um, and a thing of line racks. Okay. Now uh, we've got a bit of money. 
we can decide what we want to do with it. Um, so, we have... Um, the only thing that would interest me in terms of weapons as of right now would be this pulse rifle. It's not a bad weapon. Um, it's not a great weapon. It's not a cutting weapon. It's a, more of an assault rifle. Uh, but it's not a bad weapon, definitely. So I think I might pick that up. Um, power nodes. These are basically the items that we want to get if we've got extra money lying around. Um, they're expensive, but they're really good because we can upgrade our guns with them. Um, but I, I would like to be able to have this pulse rifle, so let's purchase this. And I think we'll be good to go. How many, uh, how many nodes do we have right now? We have one node. We want to keep one node with us at all times because uh, you can actually use these nodes to open doors. Uh, there'll be certain doors that are locked with a node lock, I think. I, I forget what the exact name is, but they're, it's these node locks and they're really important. So, I'm only going to do this once. I'm um, never going to do it again, but here's the secondary fire of this weapon. <coughs> oh, sorry. As you can see, it sits there and spins around bullets. Very, very ineffective. I'm never going to do it again because it's such an ineffective waste of ammo, but I wanted you guys to see it. Because it is a kind of neat thing. It just... It's a really poor attack. Um, and weren't there bodies over here before? Uh... Let's keep going. Um... But it, its main its main focus you want to use is its uh, first power, just its normal shooting machine gun mode. Um, let's see, there's something else I wanted to say as well. Uh, so, like I said, the secondary power is pretty useless in this. But in the second game, it's amazing because it gets a grenade launcher. Why did it get really dark in here? Oh! Oh, no. No, please. Please stop. Wait, when I point my gun at him, it goes down. Uh, maybe he's an important story character? Oh man, what is wrong with you? You're all squishy looking. Oh man, that's messed up. Dude, dude. Get out of here! No, I don't. I don't want to see you right now. That's that's messed up. Ooh, pulse rounds. Thank you. You can actually. I wish I could use a scroll bar. Why can't I use a scroll bar to change weapons? That seems like something you would do. Okay. Uh, whatever. I, I I can use num pads or number keys. I've gotten used to that. Oh! 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 Crap! Crap! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Hey, it's a person. On heavy objects that display this symbol. Oh yeah, okay, so this is basically a little tutorial as to how to use Kinesis. It's, you know, that little ability we have. We can pick up heavy objects such as this, um, only really marked heavy objects. And we have a bench, which we could spend that power node on, but I do know right here we have a power lock on this door that I'm willing to spend one power node to use. So basically, you you use the power node, but there's usually always enough items in the room and usually extra lore that it's worth it. So gold semiconductor, which is worth a good deal of money. Got some additional ammo, a large med kit, worth also a lot of money, especially since we can't actually purchase them yet. And an audio log. You found something down there, didn't you? Yes, we found something. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe. Do you believe, Terrence? Do you? Bunch of crazy freaks. Anyway, let's slide this out of the way. So we can pass by. There's blocking our path. I'm not sure exactly what this... 
No. 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 Where are you? No. No. Cut off your arm, fool. That was that wasn't the weapon I wanted. I was trying to press four and I accidentally pressed three. Okay. <sighs> you get an extra stomp, because I hate you so much. And reload. Okay. How are we doing in ammo? I pulled up the ammo while they were talking. I figured that was a good time to work with it. I, I wish I could scroll, that would make this so much easier. Okay. Oh! Crap! Oh, I didn't know Mouse 3 was secondary fire as well. Um, whoops. Okay. What about you? Did you drop anything? Stasis pack. See, the thing is, is your stasis doesn't auto-recharge, so it's kind of important to have these things, but I don't use it enough out of combat. And when you need it out of combat, they generally give you a stasis recharge, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to pass if you didn't have any stasis packs. So I generally don't use it. Oh, oh dang! Oh, he's gonna turn into one of them! Oh, wait, I can't shoot him. Okay, I think we're okay. I thought you could shoot him. Ooh, power node. Are you dead? It's dead. I killed it. I made sure it was dead. Okay. Oh, pulse round. So now we can finally purchase ammo for this gun uh, once we turn into this. Uh, dude, I don't really don't want you to turn into a zombie, so sorry about that, but you don't want you to have your legs. Which, if you've ever watched these guys die, I know it might be difficult to see on the video. You kind of might have just seen it, but when you chop off like one of their arms, you see these little squiggly worm things, which are kind of gross, but I think that's the reason why you have to cut off their limbs to kill them. Um, and we need to go up that lift, but I'd actually like to take a quick detour and go to the store because we have a gold semiconductor to sell um, and we have a schematic to turn in. And those are going to take up inventory space, so I will see you right back here in a second once I've returned from the store. Oh, um, I just got back and I just noticed there's a text log over here that I never picked up originally. Okay, so this looks like a log on Patient Harris B. Um, okay, so basically, from what I'm reading, I'm just skimming over it, and I've read it before. Is uh, he he kills he's killed people, and uh, and apparently, and he's blaming it on dreams and like, and they were bad people and stuff like that. So, if you want to read over that, feel free to go ahead. Um, just basically, it's explaining some of the behavior of the people before they turn into these crazy psychopath thingies with arms that have giant blades attached to them. And ooh, hello there, hello there, beautiful. Not you. And you know, murderous creatures and whatnot. Oh, and I think we need to drag this over here to make a bridge across. Hold on. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey there. No. Are you dead? Are you dead? Good. I don't want to see you. Um, actually, hold on. I don't want to go all the way down there, but I want to see if I can see him down there. Or more importantly, I just wanted those whatever ammo he happened to drop. Okay. Anything over here? Oh! 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 Oh, man. I hate that when they do that. They do that thing where they like to peer around the corners. They, they just love to do that, don't they? Like, that's the only intent in their mind, is to do go around corners and to scare the crap out of you. 
Did you hear that? I heard a door opening. Zero G therapy. Oh, crap! Okay, I forgot about this. It's probably gonna tell me. Yep, yep. I don't. I don't need to know about this while I'm in the vacuum. So basically, we're in a vacuum, and unlike a lot of places, um, I guess because I'm not intended for deep space use, I have a limited air supply. Like it's not. I'm not intended to be a person that's meant to stay in space for long periods of time. It's you know it's simply long enough for me to survive if I did get caught out in space like this. Um, so I need to hurry through these sections as much as I can. Um, there might be goodies out here though. Not you though. And that meter that's on my back, which in... As you know, Ishimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your grab boots will kick in when you enter a zero-g area. Well, that's nice, thank you. Please stop talking. So basically that number on my back signifies how much air I have, and if it hits zero, we're dead. And we can refill it with air cans, which I'm going to see if I can hold on to one most of the time. Oh yeah, okay. Deactivate gravity. Go, grab boots. Okay. So, we can jump to certain walls as long as there's nothing wrong with them and um, I apologize if this gets a bit disorienting I I can understand that it, it gets that way for me as well occasionally um, when you're in these zero-g areas uh, right now I'm just looking for goodies and I think there's one more goodie box oh I actually need that because we need to replace this door with a working power thing nope Get in, get in the slot. There you go. In the second game, they have a really cool jumpy... They have really cool, like, uh... Like, thruster boots, but in this game, we can just jump from surface to surface. Which works out well enough. Ooh. Items. Zero gravity is totally different from... You know, no oxygen. Like, deep space. Oh, and accidentally pick up the shock you got pad. A shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. Oh, crap. Nope, nope, don't want to deal with you. <laughs> Gonna jump past you. See you later, loser. Oh, where are you? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh crap, cut off your head, you're not dead though. I'm gonna stay away from you. These guys are annoying in zero G because they jump around a lot. You dead? Thank you. Whew. What was that? Oh, that was just some, uh, some of his flesh bumping into the wall. Bleh, gross. And you, did you have any? Yes, goodies. I'm so glad the goodies glow. That really helps out a lot. Nope, nope, crap. It's a different button. Whoa! What was that? What was that? I heard a sound. Let's get out of here. I don't want to be in the soundy place. I'm kind of curious if you guys like the relaxed me a bit more like I am tonight versus um, my first video where I was a lot more frantic. Um, not really that I can control either which way, but I'm just kind of curious. Uh, if anyone wants to leave a comment, I'd love to hear it. You know, because- OH! Forgot, forgot you, you like to come in here when there's no gravity. I don't like you. At least you're dead. <laughs> Take your arm talon. I think. Yeah. Shoot you with it. Probably shouldn't be fooling around. 50 seconds of oxygen. Time to go. No! No! Oh 
Oh crap, I'm running out of air. Exiting oh, that was exciting, right? Let's take the opportunity to use a medkit. And I think this is for a later time. Yeah, we don't need to go there yet. So uh, we've got the shock pad and... Um, we've got the shock pad and the... Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. Um, and the thermite, which now we can use to burn through that barricade. Don't know why the master engineer Isaac has to make shock pads and thermite and whatnot, but... I mean, if it works, it works, right? I saw you, I saw you. Come out of there. You can't pull a fast one on me when I'm ready for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hear sounds. Where? Where? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you're dead. Oh, crap. Where are you? No, oh, dang it. No, no. Oh. Okay, can you can you stop that? Stop it. Stop it right now. Stop it. Get out of here. Stop making squishy sounds. You're bothering me. What the heck are you doing? What is wrong with you? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, this is actually kind of funny. In like a twisted evil way. Okay, you done? Thank you. I'm sorry if that bothered anyone. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was kind of funny. It's kind of getting me a little less tensed up right now, so maybe... Maybe this will be better. Oh! Oh, I hate these guys! I hate these guys so much! Okay, so... I don't know what their real names are. Um, oh, I have more ammo? Okay, cool. Oh, wrong weapon. Wrong weapon. Ah, ah, crap, get off, get off. Okay. Uh, like I was saying, I don't know what the real names of these guys are. Like, you know, they probably have a real name on some, like, um... Dead Space Forum or Dead Space Wiki somewhere. I don't know what their real names are. I call them Flippies. So, we do not want any Flippies, and that's what this weapon's for. This is the anti-Flippy weapon, because all the other weapons do a lot more damage, but they have, like, fewer bullets. That one excels by having more bullets and less damage. So we will eliminate Flippies with the Flippy Eliminator, which is this machine gun. And that's basically the main reason what it's for, although you can still do decent damage regardless. Okay. Well, now that we've heroically survived with only a few scares, uh, I think it's time for us to visit the store once again. See if there's anything we can get rid of. Um, if anything, I'd need a small air can, not a medium air can. That's too much air. <laughs> too much air, lol. Um, that's more air than I really need right now. Let's see. Six, six, and five. Let's move one of those and we'll pull one of these out. Let's see. I'd love to get a level three suit, but that won't happen until we find the schematic for it, which I can't remember when we get the schematic for it. Excellent. Um, this is actually a decent place to stop. Uh, because otherwise we're gonna be in the action for a bit longer so I'm glad you guys could join me today um, I think I might actually be able to record one more episode this evening because I'm not too scared yet uh, that could definitely change the next episode if we run into some more lovely action and uh, <laughs> yeah so thank you for watching I'm Mr. 250 and we'll see you for Thermite Explosion next time bye